when you're looking at a spread for recording is on Darren, take you off a of mute. I had to mute everybody at one time to get her muted. Can you hear me? Yes. Okay, thanks. So when you're looking at, if you wanna know what the United States is going through uh, this particular year, the United States, of course, we know is 244 years old, but we have a spread in the uh, grand solar spreads that correspond, um, it corresponds with the um, 244 spread, which is six, age 64. So if, you, if you're trying to decode what's happening in the United States this year, you have to start with the birth card and read all 13 cards, okay? In the grand solar spread, what we do, um, the first thing that we look at, and the first thing I look at, you'll have your own method once you um, start you know, doing your own thing, um, is look at the Jupiter, Jupiter position, which is where the 10 of diamonds normally sits, okay? Because in the Jupiter, Jupiter positions, that's where the blessings and the protection comes for not just for the United States, but for any individual. OK. And then once you find the Jupiter, Jupiter position, the card there, you, you can say, OK, United States, say, for instance, the United States had eight of diamonds in Jupiter, Jupiter position. We know that's going to be a great year financially for the United States. That's financial power. OK, then you after you look at the Jupiter, after you look at the Jupiter, Jupiter position, you just want to glance up at the top and see what's what's in the sun position. And whatever card is there, that card is on the front stage. It's like um, this is it's 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 a time of um, recognition, reward. It could be notoriety. It could be, you know, so. Once you look at those, so those are the first two cards you want to look at when you're looking at a spread, even for your own life. Then you find the birth card of what you're looking for. So we know the United States is a jack of diamonds. So by United States being a jack of diamonds, then you count all 13 cards from right to left from the jack of diamonds to, to decode what's actually happening in the United States. So if you know the card meanings, if you know what the number means, if you even know what the, the um, and I'm, I'm gonna talk about planets tonight because that's that's part of the astrology thing. But, it, but decoding the cards under certain planets can give you an idea of what's actually unfolding or what's happening. Does it make sense? Yes. Okay. And um, with the Grand Solar Square, I know underneath uh, the life, um, hold on, off the life spread, it then goes into the years. Yes. Well, yes, oh, that, okay. that part I'm going to leave to Diamond because I, so essentially when you're looking at, say for instance, we're looking at age 64 spread. So you're looking at a Venus year. This is seventh Venus year in a Mars cycle, but it's a thirteen year Earth. It's a thirteen year Earth card year and a Jupiter cycle. Can y'all see my screen? Yes. You yes. can see what yes. I'm sharing. Yes. yes. Okay, good. Because I'm trying to get to the United States spread. Right? Went too far. Okay, so when we get to oh goodness, why does she have a green thing? Why is it downfall? Oh, okay, I see. Okay. Oh, okay. So. So we are on plate 64. Okay, stop it. Let me go to 64. 
Oh no. Okay. You finished talking, Darren? Yeah, I'm in the kitchen. I'll be I'll be back in. Okay. Okay. So when we look at the Grand Solar Square um, for um, the United States, this is the plate for the year. This is how we find it down here because the United States is 244, right? So this is where we look to find the United States um, yearly spread, right? And it's 864. So, but it's, it's 244 years old, right? The United States sits in um, this is the Jack of Diamonds, it was just the United States, and it sits in Neptune, and it sits in Saturn. And the supportive common card this year is a six of clubs. So that means that everything is going to start slowing down to a halt. And that's why they're talking about there's not going to be an election um, this year. And sitting in um, Jupiter, Jupiter, this is the position Darren is talking about. See, Jupiter, Jupiter is a Ten of Diamonds position, but this is the card that's displacing the Ten of Diamonds this year, which is a Five of Clubs. And it's sitting in Jupiter, Jupiter. So Five of Clubs is um, a very, um, you know, it's a five, of course, but it's a very... Um, um, energetic card. It's a very creative card. It's a very, um, it's a mental card because it is a club. And and this year, it with this year with coupling it with the six of clubs, it's going to be extremely interesting um, to see how things um, play out going forward. Because the five of clubs is, you know, just you know, likes to go, you know, it just likes to keep it moving. And the six of clubs is telling us we're going to be sat down and we're going, they're going to put us back on lockdown. So the energy is just going to be really interesting with the five of clubs sitting here and Jupiter, Jupiter is, a, you know, that's the blessed um, because of Jupiter and it's Jupiter and that's a place of expansion. And with the five of clubs energy, you see the nine of spades is the card here that's supporting it in life. So the nine of spades is saying there are some things that we have to let go of um, to achieve the five of clubs. And, um, you know, the five of clubs is definitely a um, debater. They love to debate. They love to have conversations. And the uh, challenging common card is the queen of clubs. And a queen of clubs is a card of intuition on high. So the queen of clubs is telling the five of clubs, you have to use your intuition. You know, I'm not you able to see the top of it. I saw where you started with the. Yeah, I'm all here there. right now. I'm here. I'm here right now. You see the five of clubs? No, ma'am. Oh. oh, OK. OK. Yeah, I see the five of clubs. OK. Yeah. So, so how yeah. do we get from the Jack of Diamonds up to the five of clubs? I'm telling the different positions on this on the plates that we look at. Darren went over these different positions right here. So I'm going over the different places that we look at when we start looking at different things. So that's how I got to Jupiter, Jupiter. Okay. So Jupiter, Jupiter is um, the space that the Ten of Diamonds sits in, which is the most, you know, um, coveted place other than the crown line on the Grand Soul Square. That's how we got there. So the challenging common card, the Queen of Clubs, is very important because to unlock the karma of the Five of Clubs, you have got to know what the Queen of Clubs is um, challenging. Does that make sense? Not for me. What doesn't make sense? Okay, so her question was about the United States. And so we're on the um, 244 because that's how old the United States is. So then Darren was telling us that we always start at- Okay, but, but wait a minute. What's your question about the five of clubs? Right, I, I, I'm, I'm getting to that. So then we started reading. So then Darren explained, because you were saying that Darren explained it. So Darren explained- that you go to whatever the card is you're reading and you go back 13 and that how that's how you get to all the different positions. 
And I got lost as to how going to the Jupiter Jupiter, which is the five of clubs on the 244th spread, um, how that relates to the United States. Because okay. the question was okay. about the United States. Okay. Okay. So that's where I'm lost. Yeah, okay. As I said, we're looking at different positions, not relating to the United States, but we're looking at the grand solar square right now. So Jupiter, Jupiter is a position that we're looking at right now. It's a related position. Like he said, there are certain positions that we always look at when we go to the grand solar square. So that's how I got to the five club. Does that make sense to everybody? Yes. This is a related position. This position right here, regardless of whatever card is sitting there, is a position that we look at. So it just happens to be the five of clubs. So we're talking about the five of clubs and its attributes. Okay. So okay. So that's the Jupiter, Jupiter, and is that because that is the position where it's the benevolent position? It's the um, the you know the, the blessed is, position. Because this is Jupiter and this is Jupiter. Right, right, right. But I'm saying is that the is the reason why we always go there because it is the blessed position. Mm -hmm. I mean, why, why, why do we always start with Jupiter, Jupiter? No, matter no we don't it. always start with Jupiter, Jupiter. I started with Jupiter, Jupiter. We either start with the sun or we start with Jupiter. But I just started with Jupiter, Jupiter. Okay. Then we go up to the sun position. We're just trying to see the overall scheme of age 64. This is for anybody who would be 64. Anybody who is 64, we would start with these positions, okay? But because we're looking into Jack of Diamonds, we would be linking them together. But this is for anybody who is 64, the five of clubs would be a very important energy. And I'm using this as an example to show you that in order to unlock any card on here, you would have to unlock the challenging karma card. Does that make sense? Yes. I know it makes sense to you. Does yes. that make sense to everybody? So basically you have to lock the, the challenging karma cards to whatever card to ascend. Yes. To determine what this card is supposed to be doing, we always look at the challenging karma card. Right? It's sitting, it's sitting in the Ten of Diamonds, which is the Ten of Diamonds space is the card that is sitting in. So this is a card that is supportive to it, right? So we're looking at the Ten of Diamonds here, or we're looking at the Ten of Hearts here. This is the card that's supporting this card. Does that make sense? Yes. Yeah, so, um, for instance, looking, reading our pamphlet, um, our booklet that you gave us, mm -hmm. and and you read the Five of Clubs, and then mm -hmm. you read the Queen of Clubs, like just so um, to give everybody clarity. Could you like read, say, okay, this is what a Queen of Hearts, Queen of Clubs, Queen of Clubs. this is what a Five of Spades, right. Mean, or right, and then say, okay, so then you would look at these and compare it to these and that's how you unlock it right okay i will get i will definitely do oh my goodness it keeps going away i do not know why uh, it, it keeps going away it is just not the most um efficient way of having to do this on the mac it works better on a regular computer but we're not going to talk about the mac we're going to be okay right mac don't get mad at me because I'm talking about. So let me get back to 64, which is, okay. So, are you kidding me? What am I hit? I'm trying to go back. Okay. I'm not going to let you get on my nerves. So we're going to go back to, that's 58. Let's see if I can get to 64. There we go. 61, 64. Let's do it very gently. There goes 64. So at 64, let me see if it's going to let me do it. There it goes. At 64, like I was saying, 
this is the next position that we're going to look at, which is the sun position. So we're not going to think about the cards. I was using that as the, the card as an example. But we're going to look at the sun position to see the overall theme of what we're looking at on a place. Does everybody understand that? Yes. The sun position is the overall theme. This is the six of hearts. So for anyone who is 64, this is the overall theme for that year. And if you happen to be a six of hearts, you're sitting in the sun position. Does that make sense? Yes, that makes sense. So the Jack of Diamonds sitting in Neptune is, is what we'll start with. We'll start with the Jack of Diamonds. So the Jack of Diamonds is sitting in Neptune. So we know the Jack of Diamonds is the United States. The Jack of Diamonds is the pitch person. The Jack of Diamonds is the salesman. The Jack of Diamonds doesn't work. The Jack of Diamonds pitches the deal to you. Then you have to decide whether or not you're going to take the deal. Does everybody understand that about the Jack of Diamonds? Yes. Yeah. The Jack of Diamonds is the master salesman. So this year, if we look at the Jack of Diamonds, the Eight of Spades is a challenging common card. And the Eight of Spades is a card of overcoming obstacles. So the Eight of Spades is saying that anything that happens this year, the Jack of Diamonds is going to overcome it, right? So um, the Six of Clubs is the supporting common card. So the Six of Clubs is saying that everything that is going to happen to the Jack of Diamonds is going to slow down. That means whatever it is with the stimulus that they're talking about right now, all of these things are going to slow down. Okay. They're going to, um, and it, you know, it looks like, you know, the Senate is stalling. No, the universe is saying it's going to slow down. So when he said there's not going to be an election, that there pretty much may not be an election. The, um, Six of Clubs is saying that things um, that people are going to be sent home, another wave or whatever is going to happen um, because we're, it's in Neptune, right? And Neptune is Neptune means that you're not supposed to be doing a lot in Neptune because Neptune is that place where you can have a blind side. Neptune means you need to vet and you need to pay attention to things that are happening around you, right? Mm -hmm. So because, because it's sitting, the Jack of Diamonds is sitting in Neptune, that means that it can have an a, illusionary, um, um, illusionary, I don't want to say quality, but it can just, it can uh, be elusive this year. But because it's sitting in Neptune, it deals with your secret desires. So the secret desires of the United States are going to be on Front Street, right? And the challenging karma card is saying that it's going to overcome everything that's going to come up and arise. So the things that are coming out with reparations, well, not reparations, I'm sorry, with the unemployment and all of the stimulus and everything, it's, it's saying this is the seven of clubs that is supporting it in life. And the seven of clubs is the challenging karma card to the eight of diamonds. So the seven of clubs challenging karma card is the seven of spades. And that's the card of spiritual money. And that's the card of paying attention. And the eight of hearts is the supporting karma card. And that's just a card of charisma and you know, sociable and also overcoming obstacles. So when we look at, we look at the, these two cards, which this is a significant card because it's the card that's supporting this card in life, that things are going to happen, but they're going to slow down because it even without, well, the six of clubs that's in a Neptune, Neptune is just a period where you're going to slow down in life. So this is just an indication because it's sitting in Neptune and Saturn that it can't, the United States can't pass go right now. You know, because Saturn is where 
um, there's some work that has to be done. And Neptune is where you have to sit down and do that work. Does that make sense? Yes. Yes. So when we look at these, you know, just looking at these cards, we just start taking them apart. And the more we take them apart, the more we understand, especially if this is your card, this is where you always want to start. You always want to start with your card, where it's sitting at, and what are the two karma cards? Because that's going to be significant. Right. Because if the Jack of Diamonds was sitting in Mars, it would tell a whole different story this year. It means the Jack of Diamonds is going to be very aggressive, but that's not going to happen. Right. So then we look at um, the Mercury card, which is the Queen of Hearts. Right. And and, you know, we know that the Queen of Hearts um, is a chill card. And it's sitting in Mercury, and Mercury is quick silver. Mercury is saying you got to move fast. The Queen of Hearts represents the home; it represents family. So it's saying you got there's some things that you have to do um, with this Queen of Hearts energy. The challenging karma card is a nine of spades, and this is a card of saying there's some things that you got to let go of so we can move forward. And the six of spades being another six says it's slowing down. This is saying it's faded and it's timed, but it's going to take time. So this is changes in the family, changes in the home. And there's things that we have to do to get there. This is what the nine of spades is challenging the queen of heart is saying, there's some things that you're doing that you have to let go of. That's what the nine of spades means, right? And the nine of spades is a very relational card. It, it's a relational card. It's a family card. You know, so it's challenging the queen of hearts in relations and all of this good stuff. You know, we got to fix it and we got to let go. But the six of spades is saying, yeah, we're going to do it, but it's going to take time. Does that make sense to everybody? Yes. Like. Okay. The explanation makes sense, but I didn't. When looking at the spread, you said it was in Mercury, so that's where I was confused when I see. Well, that. this is the Mercury card. This is the Mercury oh, card. It's sitting in Uranus, and you will add that on to it. it that's a, another layer. So yeah, thank you for um for noticing that. This is another layer because it's sitting in Uranus. You're absolutely right. right. It's sitting in Neptune, Uranus. So this is saying that it's it's um. Smiling face. Oh, I'm, in class. I'm in class right now. Uh, um, this is saying that this this is saying um adding another layer that this is um that Uranus is um. Um, was evolutionary and it's, it's evolving and it's pushing us forward and we have no choice. This is Neptune, it's spiritual and it's, 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 you have to make sure you're looking at everything because like I said, Neptune can have a blind side, but this Uranus is saying all of this is going to happen. Without you, with whether you come along or not, you how you come along is up to you. But all of this is going to happen. Families and because Mercury represents um, um, family, your relationships, you know, all of those things from youth, your first 13 years. So this is all of this is going to evolve because it's in your honest. But it's the Mercury card. This is the um, you want to look at it. Mercury is the first thing you look at because this is the Jack of Diamonds Mercury card. So all of this is happening with mercurial energy. We all know what mercurial energy is, right? Yes. Yeah, okay. Now I understand. Okay, I get what you're saying when you when you say that. So the the um the next card. So you have the birth card and the Mercury card is yes. the queen of yes. Got you. Yes. The first awesome. thirteen. Yes. So this is, so everybody Sorry. understands this placement, right? The placement is right in front of the card that is, is the Mercury card. Yes. So the queen first of cards card. is Mercury to Jack yes. of Diamonds. Yes. Okay. We okay. read from right to left. 
Okay, from right to left. So the um, seven of spades is the Venus card. So this is talking about, we talking about all Venetian things. So Venus is the home and, um, you know, family, jobs, um, um, you know, work, your work, your, your work. Um, and this is the seven of spades. And this is the seven of spades over here challenging the seven of clubs, right? So this is the seven of spades in Venus. So this card is saying that we have to, the seven of space, like all sevens have got to operate in the spiritual world to unlock this card, right? The seven of space is a card of spiritual protection. Whenever this card shows up, you're supposed to pay attention, right? Because um, it's a seven, it, can be in both worlds, the uh, mundane and the spiritual. In a mundane world, it's not a good placement. This is Neptune, Neptune. So this is double Neptune energy. So this is the seven of spades, which Neptune represents our spiritual, it represents our spiritual side, right? So we're looking at a lot of spirituality going on in Venus, right? At home and at work and in, you know, relationships. And the 10 of spades is a challenging karma card. So the 10 of spades is um, tens are the highest. When you have like a seven, sevens are here. Seven is a, are, is a, a uneven card. So sevens are here to work. They're here to do the work and they have obstacles because they are seven. And the obstacle is when they want to dip and dab in the spiritual and the mundane world. That's the obstacle. The 10 of spades is a challenging karma card saying that anything that you do this year, you're going to overcome it, right? Because I'm protecting you, I'm challenging you. So if I'm challenging you, I'm challenging you to be your higher self. Does that make sense? Yes. yes. The ten of spades is the card of healing. The ten of spades is a you know it's when you see a ten, you see the symbol one and you see the zero. Ten is the highest that you can go. That means you with your higher power. So when you see the ten, you see you with the creator. So that's your higher self when you see a ten. So that gives you that um that protection. And this is a card of protection. So it's saying in the home, we're going to be protected. But we have to do the spiritual work. The Queen of Hearts is the supportive karma card. And this is her natural space. And the Queen of Hearts is all things home. So this, this is how this plays out. Does that make sense to everybody? Yes. Yes. So when we're in Neptune... I mean, yeah, we're in Neptune. The United States is in Neptune. We go up to, we go up to the crown line, and we go up to the crown line. And the next card is this card, this this placement, right? Mm -hmm. When we go up to, um, from when we ascend, so we're ascending right. up. We're ascending up from the crown line. So that means if you ascended up from the crown line, that you would have come through all of this. So this is all that you're bringing with you, if you're your ascension. You know what I mean? So you can think about all of these players and stuff here. You are ascending up to this crown line, right? So when you're sitting in the crown line, what does that mean to you? You're blessed. Mm-hmm, and what else? Uh, you have gifts coming to you. And protection yeah and what else what are you doing more responsibility because you're like this you're 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 at the sun yes so you are exactly you are sitting up here and all eyes are on you right you're, okay. look, you're looking down you know what i mean so if you so the united states is ascending um from neptune to the crown line that makes sense. And this is the Mars card. And the Mars card is the nine of diamonds. And the nine of diamonds is the card of 
definitely letting go of your um your values your, that have that are outworn jobs if you this year people are not going to want to work and we already see that right people don't want to work this is a nine of diamonds and nine diamonds does not want to work so people are not going to want to work this year they're going to want to continue to get that unemployment um on the low side but on the high side people are going to want to um start building their businesses and stuff right because the nine of diamonds is just they are a connector nine of diamonds in the um in the um in the um, life spread the supporting common cause, the queen of diamonds. So the queen of diamonds is the connector. So the nine of diamonds is the connector. The nine of diamonds, we're going to want to be connecting with people um, to um, build. So that wouldn't work in a, um, a regular job, right? Just wouldn't. That's not what a regular job is about. Regular job is about going to work in your paycheck. It's not about building yours. And nine of diamonds and the queen of diamonds are about building. They're about putting people together um, to build, to do humanitarian work. They're both humanitarian cause. So we're going to see a lot of that this year in the United States, a lot of humanitarian pursuits, right? And the challenge in common cause is Jack of Spade. Now, Jack of Spade is the is the is the uh, initiate. So the Jack of Spade is a challenge in common card, and it is the Nine of Diamonds is going through an initiation, and to um, unlock is faith. This this Nine of Diamonds this year we have to have faith because the Jack of Diamonds you being initiated into a higher octave of yourself. That thing that you need to achieve what you you um, need or want to do is your initiation. Does that make sense? Yes. Yeah. A lot of sense to me. <laughs> you know what, Diamond? Mm -hmm. Also, when you were talking about the Nine of Diamonds, I see that a lot of people who, who are in power mm -hmm. uh, are going to be very philanthropic. Yeah. And they're going to be helping out. Yeah. Helping yep. out. And you see that already with people donating to Black Lives Matter mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. stuff mm -hmm. like that. So we're going to see a lot of. The, so it's the, I think it's going to be the people who are in power, not necessarily in politics, mm -hmm. but they're going mm -hmm. to raise us back up with their wealth. Yeah. By yeah. being philanthropic. Yeah, absolutely. And that's a requirement because the Nine of Diamonds is saying you have to let go of how you used to do things. Absolutely. So the requirement to unlock this card to be successful is you have to do these things. And this is Barack Obama's card. So we're going to see a lot of him this year. Lots of Barack Obama. Lots of Barack Obama this year because this is his card. And this is also Kanye West's card. And we see lots of Kanye West. He is being initiated. The Where he's being initiated is where he's being hit at. Right? But the Ten of Clubs is the supporting card. So the Ten of Clubs is the card of opening doors. It's the coach. Um, it's very clairvoyant. It's a very um, clairvoyant card. Um, so this year, we can definitely um, get our spiritual practices together and um, be like m more philanthropic be more caring for each other and, you know, do the things that um, we need to be doing to move forward. You know, you, can, you can't you can leave your job if you don't have this, this set in place. That's the bottom line. This is where it gets really um, tricky with the Nine of Diamonds. Nine of Diamonds is a princess card. Nine of Diamonds does, does want to be taken care of um, in a... Um, you know, so yeah, you gotta be careful with that one because you 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 have to have something in place, and because you're sitting in a sun position, that means you're protected. If you know how to unlock this karma, this is the karma that we always want to be paying attention to, because this is our protection. This is the karma that is supporting us. This is the karma that is protecting us. Does that make sense? 
the yes. you're saying for the ten of um, club? No, is, for any any card oh, this any. here. Yeah. These okay. Got you. These that's what they represent, right? And because this is a royal card, you have the royal protection of the crown line. So if you unlock this card this year, is you're sailing through. And that's when we see people and we're like, and that would lead here. Anybody who was a five of diamonds this year, you would see them leading the world. And I'm five of clubs. Any five of clubs right now sitting in Jupiter, Jupiter will unlock these cards is going to sell. You're going to see five of clubs on in the forefront because that's the, um, this is the link be what what the five of clubs is is doing and they're going to be the ones that will be the trailblazers does that make sense that's the significance of this position no matter what you're looking at this is the significance of this position to unlock this position you have to un you have to see what this card is supposed to be doing right does that Can you make repeat sense? that? I'm sorry. No, that's fine. To do you, if we're looking at the crown line. So if we're looking at the crown line, all of the stuff that's going on in the crown line, the five of clubs is sitting in Jupiter, Jupiter. So the five of clubs to is going to be on Front Street this year because it's the it's the, it's the most um coveted position there is. So five of clubs energy is going to be um the energy that's going to be out there so for the five of clubs they have to unlock this karma for their protection i have a quick question mm -hmm. so since we're all in america mm -hmm. and affected by the yearly chart for america mm -hmm. so we would pay attention to you know, how, how the energy is moving on the chart, but what's the best way for us to tap into it? Like for a five of clubs, for instance. In, right. Um, that's what, yeah, that's what I, that's what I, I, I just, I, I was saying that the five of clubs to unlock the, this, all of this energy, they start with the crown line and they start with the, they start with this position. This is the, this was, Mar was this Mars, right? Or this this was Mars, right, Darren? Where? The five of clubs? The nine of hearts is Mars, right? Because I don't want to go back down. I don't want to lose. Uh, the Mars, the, the Mar uh, nine of hearts is Pluto. Pl no, I mean to the jack of diamonds. No, here's uh, the jack of diamonds right here. Yes, Mars. I do not know why I didn't see the jack of diamonds. Yes, Mars to the jack of diamonds. So this is a this is Mars position sitting in the sun. So we have Mars energy that is, it is Mars. We know that Mars is, um, you know, it's that it's working. It's getting out there, putting yourself out there with this Mars energy. You have to put yourself out there. And because you're in the sun, you have to put yourself out here to get the, the, the blessings of the sun. The six of hearts is um, Jupiter. Um, to the United States. And the six of hearts is another six. So it's sitting in the sun position. So it is telling you that um, things are going to happen, um, but it's going to take time because it's a six. The six is about relationships. It's about past karma, like all sixes. And it's about timing. This is about healing. So this is about healing your, um, because it's sitting in the, in the space of the eight of diamonds, it's about healing your values. It's about how you, how, what you want in life, how much do you value it, right? How much are you willing to put into the things that you want to unlock this card, right? Because the six of hearts is going to be about past relationships coming back into your life. You know, people from the past coming into your life and maybe even your past mm -hmm. karma coming into your life. Right. And the challenging karma card is the, is the queen of spades. Now, this is a royal card that gives this extremely great protection. But this is a manifestor. The queen of spades is not a worker. She's a queen. She is not a worker. 
she is here to, she is challenging the six of hearts to manifest these things, right? And because the support and common cause, the eight of diamonds is all about values. Does that make sense to everybody? Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that is the, um, that's when we started down here. I want to make sure everybody, we started down here and we're, oh, we're not, that's not Venus. This is not the Venus car. This is Jupiter, I said, right? This is the Jupiter car. So um, that means that you are on, um, you're sitting in Jupiter, sitting in the sun. Darren, talk about the Sun-Jupiter um, connection. Well, the Sun-Jupiter connection, and I, I'm gonna speak. I'm gonna speak about it from an astrological point of view because the the, the uh, Sun-Jupiter connection is happy. Mm -hmm. So we are moving toward happier times. Okay, mm -hmm. um, when you Mercury, Venus, Mars, Jupiter. So when you really think about it, you got five of clubs and Jupiter, Jupiter, horizontally and vertically, so, and then you got Sun Jupiter sitting in six of hearts. So what I'm seeing with that, that particular position, since we're talking about the six of hearts sitting in the crown line, the six of hearts, the six of hearts, whenever to, whatever card is on the, the, uh, the right or the left of that card, that's a bridge that needs to be healed. OK, now and I'm going to astrology a little bit, but um, with the six of hearts, you got the nine of hearts before it okay that's pushing it so the nine of hearts the nine of hearts represents international relationships international relationships and our values to other countries okay because nine in astrology rules the ninth house of international affairs okay and then so it's a struggle between what we need to heal with our al not what's the opposite of allies Adversaries. adversaries. Okay. So what we need to heal with our adversaries and with us being in power with the king of spades sitting there. Do y'all see that? Because right now you got the most powerful card in the deck sitting on the left side of the six of hearts, which in is the most Saturn. In Saturn. Right. So which means it's going to, if, if the work wasn't put in with Saturn and king of spades, anyway, the Six of Hearts is trying to heal international relationships with the most powerful nation in the world, which is the United States, with the King of Spades. OK. And in Saturn, it's not going to come easy. It has work has to be done. There is a reckoning and there is a karmic. A karmic, I don't want to say payback, but it is karmic that these these the international relationships in the United States as a power has to be healed. Right. Good. That's very good. That was on point. So this is the crown line, and this is where it gets good for the five of clubs. Because the five of clubs sitting in Jupiter with the queen of clubs, um, I'm challenging them. This is about our words, you know, how things are going to trigger us. You know, the queen of clubs is a singer. You know, she, you know, is a melodious singer, you know, an amazing singer. Queen of Clubs is Erica Badu. So you, I don't know if you follow on Instagram, but Erica Badu is wide open right now. I wrote about her today because Sister Girl is wide open. She has definitely stepped into her position and she's bold with it, you know, and that is going to be a part of the healing. This the five of clubs that's going is, you know, very um, beautiful. Um, this a, 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 a this a very um, what would you say about the five of clubs of mag, 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 magnetic magnetic um, energy pulls you in. So this is these are going to be the people that we're going to see a lot of a lot of five of clubs energy. And that tying that to this, you know what I mean? So this is the, the um, when we're looking at how we break down these positions, because this is that coveted position with 
this card sitting here, there is a five of clubs and it's definitely going to be a lot of five of clubs um, energy. Um, Bessie, we're going into the Aquarian age also. Um, we got have a lot of planets that are, and the five of clubs would be um, more direct and maybe not warm and fuzzy you know, and um, a little bit more, um, I don't even know what word I'm trying to say, but five of clubs not warm and fuzzy. And the challenging karma card to the five of clubs is the five of hearts. So um, the, five of heart, the five of clubs has to get their big boy, big girl panties on and can't cut and run. Jupiter, Jupiter cannot be wasted. The Ten of Diamonds is supporting the Five of Clubs. Now we had a Ten of Diamonds eclipse. So that eclipse has been extremely powerful because we've seen meltdowns. You know, I was reading something earlier on Tamar Braxton. I'm like, shame on you because now you're saying over 11 years they exploited you. She has a very powerful Ten of Diamonds in her spread this year. She need to stop. The Ten of Diamonds, um, um, Eclipse triggered in her to get your shit together. Just plain and simple. Playing a victim is not going to be good for her. This nine of spades is saying you need to let it go. Right? So we're going to see that energy, um, a lot of ten of diamonds energy. And look where the ten of diamonds is sitting. It's mercury to the um, five of clubs. Right? So yeah, this is how, anybody have any questions? This is how we unlock the comments. And then of course we go through the rest of the spread. So this is Saturn, this is Uranus, which is the four diamonds this year. And the four, Uranus is about um, healing. It's about um, moving forward. And with the four diamonds, it sits here in Mercury. This is the Mercury line. So we're looking at the United States has um, Neptune, Mercury, and the sun. So the four diamonds is sitting in um, Uranus and sitting in the Mercury line. So this is about evolution. The Ace of Hearts is a challenging karma card. So this is new stuff. You know, all of this is new in our emotions and relationships and feelings and stuff. And the three of hearts is a, is a supportive karma card. So it's about exercising. You know, you have options. You have things that you can do. You know, then we have the ace of clubs, which is Neptune. And again, Neptune is about our um, spiritual. Um, Neptune is that spiritual time in life when we're starting to look at things spiritually. So the ace of clubs. I mean, Neptune is definitely going to be looking at that thing because the Ace of Clubs is extremely inquisitive. It's a great writer, great speaker, and the two hearts wow. challenging karma card. So it's about relationships, right? And then this is, that's Neptune, right? This is Pluto. Now, the five of hearts in Pluto, hmm. Um, <laughs> you're gonna call on me. <laughs> Go ahead, Darren. <laughs> yeah, okay. Just talk about Pluto because Darren, you know, yeah, okay. Pluto, Pluto is uh, the card of um healing. Mm -hmm. there, there are many different aspects of Pluto, so mm -hmm. I'm gonna tell you three high side and three low side. Mm -hmm. Is healing and transformation. Mm -hmm. um, it's definitely um, it's unconscious. Mm -hmm. Okay, things that occur in our lives under Pluto is not con is not readily available to our conscious mind. Mm -hmm. Now the subconscious realm of Pluto, I mean the um, the uh, lower aspects is death. It could be death. And death is nothing but transformation. And it doesn't have to be a physical death of the body, but you can completely transform altogether. So if you have your birth card, if your birth card is like we've been talking about five of clubs, when that particular year, Pluto is going to transform the essence of that person. 
Okay. And it's going to, the only way it can be transformed is through healing and transformation. Mm -hmm. Now, when you resist the healing and transformation with Pluto, um, you have an event that occurs in your life as a circumstance that forces you to heal and transform. Mm -hmm. that, that may come into, that may come in the form of an accident, a near death experience, but you can rest assured, Pluto is saying you're going to heal. Now I'm gonna give you the easy way out. <laughs> and I'm gonna let you do the work on your own. But if you keep ignoring me, I'm gonna pull your shit from under the rug. I'm gonna expose it to your face and you're gonna have to heal it. So what, what Pluto is about is transformation and healing. It's also your superpower that year. Oh. Um, that, that, that the year that you have one of your life spread cards in in the, in the uh, Pluto position is your superpower, mm -hmm. and it's also um, it's also wait a minute superpower. I'm trying to I'm just I'm I'm trying to go to the edge of sketch in my mind right let now. Let me say that mm -hmm. so, let me say that Pluto can be that secret tool that helps you um, overcome whatever it is that he said you have to heal. It's that it's that it's that thing that you can meet that you can um, find inside of you, and it sure it is encapsulated in the five of hearts right now because the five of hearts is the Pluto card for the United States. But the key is this five of hearts right here is a challenging karma card right here. So this is very powerful energy because the five of hearts is a challenging karma card to the five of clubs. So what do you think that means, guys? Can you repeat that? I'm sorry. That the five of hearts in Pluto. In the life spread, the five of hearts is a challenging karma card to the five of clubs. So how do you think that energy plays out with the five of clubs? Like a change of like healing relationships since it's the heart but it's going to be a a change and maybe a different way of how you approach it um and remember, also... it's the, remember it's the challenging karma card to the five of clubs mm. so what is it going to be challenging the five of clubs to do with Pluto energy. To move. <laughs> yeah. To move. To go, go somewhere. To move. To like go somewhere or to move move forward or in a different direction. Uh not the five has changed so it's not exactly like fully planned out because that could also be impulsive so it's a mental move. card right it's a mental card right five of clubs is mental move with heart mm, like intention something dealing with the mind changing changing mental values moving from the mind to the heart passion yes mm. using your passion mm-hmm Right, yeah, yeah. Hey, Diamond. Uh huh. I think they were right too, because when the yeah. young lady, yeah, when the the first word the young lady said was changing. Yeah, changing you know. definitely. Well, five's already always. Yeah, absolutely. Five is already changing. Changing, and so and it's very interesting that the five of hearts displace. It's, I'm just looking at this right now. Mm -hmm. the, the The five of hearts, the five of clubs. This place is the five of hearts in the life spread. Mm -hmm. And look at you. And, and, and you got the five of clubs in Jupiter and Jupiter. You got the five of hearts in Neptune. Mm -hmm. You know? Mm -hmm. So I think, and I think, um, if, I could, if I could just say something real quick, I think that what we saw an example of a Tom Hanks and his wife moving to another country, mm -hmm. they're going to start seeing people get up out of here and go to other countries. Absolutely. Yep. A five is travel, right? Like yes, it is. But look what's travel. pushing it. Look what's pushing it. The the nine, the nine of spades is pushing the five of clubs in Jupiter. Jupiter position. Nine rules international countries. Mm -hmm. 
Oh. People are going to be speaking other countries, and you're going to start mm-hmm. seeing the celebrities do it first, and then everybody else going to jump on board. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But then that makes sense from earlier in the springtime when Aquarius was saying, like before the summer came. Somebody has to mute yourself. There's a lot of background um, going on. Okay, go ahead. I'm sorry. No problem. Um, I said, then that makes sense now for when Aquarius was saying, like when we were still kind of like locked down in the springtime before the summer, that a lot mm-hmm. of people will be moving to different places. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yep. They're going to be inside the country and outside the country. Totally. And this is um, this is Pluto. Pluto is about you. You know, so this is about you, indiv- you're in- you individually looking at, um, you know, and the Queen of Clubs being the supporting card. It's about your intuition and um, love. The Queen of Clubs wants to take care of the world and children. So this is representing children because this is a card of autism. So in Pluto, children with special needs are going to be um, on the, in the forefront this year. Right. This is an incredible spread. And the reason why I'm going to say it is because you got the five of hearts sitting in um, in the house of Queen of Clubs mm-hmm. and the five of clubs. It's the, the five of clubs sitting in the house of the ten of diamonds and the displacement card is the king of Queen of Clubs. So yeah. it's all about it's not going to be it's no longer going to be about what the media tells you to do. Mm-hmm. It's going to be about what your intuition tells you to do. Absolutely. And having courage. It's about courage. And then your reward is the king of diamonds. Now the Pluto and the reward go together. So you have to unlock this this Pluto card for your reward. Does that make sense? Yes. So the king of diamonds is your reward. This is this is um a royal card, you know, um sitting telling you that you have protection that it's about um you stepping up and taking leadership roles which are values because that's the king of diamonds he's a, he's the king of values you know the highest diamond that there is and challenging karma cause of four hearts and this is the home this is about the home and we're in the four hearts year so this is what we're going to see we're going to see people who have the courage to step up and Ten of Spades is the supporting karma card. And like I said, we have the Ten of Spades sitting and um, challenging the Seven of Spades down here. So the Ten of Spades being a supportive karma card, it is, um, you know, you with your higher self. You know, this is what this, wow, I'm telling you, this spread, every time I look at this spread, I just get so much, much more from it. It's just amazing. Yeah. And then um, this is um, your cosmic lesson, right? 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 Yep. Your cosmic lesson is your guru. And that's the eight of spades. And the eight of spades is a challenging common card to the jack of spades, to the ten of diamonds, to jack of diamonds. So this being your cosmic lesson, your guru, everything is going to be okay. you challenged to... Um, to um, do what you have to do. Look at the two cars underneath there. You can't even, I'm just saying guys, we, that's why I love the Grand Solar Squares and I love Cardiology because this is the eight of spades. This is overcoming obstacles. Challenging common cards the five of hearts, which is the Pluto card. And you know what that says to me too? Mm-hmm. It, it says that when people move, Mm-hmm. Out of this country, mm-hmm. that's going to be a way for them to overcome their obstacles right now. At this point, because right now people are restless. Yeah, and in the five, of, the five of hearts and the five of clubs is telling you that the people are restless. You, the United States, um, you're going to have. Of course, we're going to overcome the obstacles that we we go through. Okay, but with those that five of hearts and that five of clubs, those two karma cards sitting there. Mm-hmm. People, are, people are not going to wait until the finish line. People going to get up out of here as soon as they get a clue or their intuition tell them it's time to go. 
But see, well, this is also traveling within the United States because the vast yeah. majority of people will be traveling from state to state. So you will be seeing exoduses from state to state. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. And that's, that's, that's very, this is the, the natural spot. And that's to Google. And this is what it's telling you, that whatever you do, you're feeling restless and you want to go and you're protected. You can do it now. This is the right. time if you want to move. This is the time to go for it. This is the year to go for it. And then mm -hmm. the moon card is the Ace of Diamonds. And this is the card of COVID. So it's in the moon position. So this is how they're going to lock everybody back down. The Six of Hearts is a challenging karma card. And this is the sun card. So it's protection, but it's going to be slow. People going back home and they ain't coming back out for a long time. So the three of diamonds is saying that, you know, you have to be creative. You know, you have to um, get creative ways to make your money. That's what that's about. They're going to be making money off of Instagram, three of diamonds. That's right. There you go. <laughs> so this is, we're going to, COVID is going to lock people back down. That's, this is the moon. That's not, this is not going to, this is going to happen. And then a transformation card is the Ten of Clubs. And this is a card of the government. This is a card of opening doors. And this is saying that there won't be an election in the way that we know elections to be. And the Ace of Spades is supporting karma cards. There's a lot of secrets, lots of secrets that we know nothing about that are going to um, come out. The Seven of Hearts is a challenging karma card. And it's about boundaries. It's about um it, accepting things as they are. You can't kick against the pricks right now because it is it's not that things are going to change in our government. If they are in October is when the the crash happened under this configuration. So in October, the crash will happen again. And it is what it is. We have to know that all of this is going to play out, but everything is going to be okay if you know how to unlock the commerce. Did everybody get that? Yes. Yes. What is the card of the Illuminati? You have to, we're not going to look at that right now because there's no such thing as that Illuminati. So we're not going to do conspiracy theories. I'm already, I'm already. I just want to know the card. I just want to know. I'm already on it. Oh, we you have, have thank go, you, Darren. Yeah, we have to go to um, showing you how to find the card of the week. So everybody wants to know how to find their weekly spread, right? Yes. yes. I have one quick question though about uh -huh. the face spread. Uh huh. What is the environment card? What, which one? How would you know which one is the environment card by looking at the the spread? The environment card is the um the well, like displacement card, environment card. How yeah, yeah. Cards? That's where your yeah, that's your environment card. That's where your um this like this is um the six of hearts. Is this sitting in um, your city? If you're sitting in that what that space, that's the environment, right? The environment is the space that you're sitting in. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Right, I, I got it now. Okay. You got it. So I was trying to see the environment for the Jack of Diamonds this year would be for the United States. This the spread. What would be? Which what card would be the environment card though? You're sitting in the Jack of the Jack of Diamonds spot. It's oh, the two of clubs. The two of clubs. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I just figured it out. Okay, thank you. <laughs> I, I understand. I was just trying to learn how to read this. It's okay. okay. It's okay. okay. I got it now. Just click. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Everybody understand what she was saying? No, I see where it is, but I don't know how you get over there. You go up, and then it's in the corner. The two of clubs? Uh -huh. is because this is the Jack of Diamonds, and mm -hmm. it's sitting here. Okay. See, it's sitting in the environment of the Jack of Diamonds. What's your card? My card? Mm -hmm. The Queen of Diamonds. So you're the Queen of Diamonds, and you're sitting in the environment of what card? The um, Jack of Spades. Yep. That makes sense to everybody? Yes. That's your environment card. card. Yes. Yeah, you're sitting in its environment. Got it. And the last spread. Mm -hmm. Okay, you said a queen of diamonds. 
No, she said this is her card. This this is we're just looking at her card. But if she this year, if she was in this spread, so we would say that if we were looking at the Queen of Diamonds, we would say the Queen of Diamonds environment is a jack of space. Somebody has to mute this because we're recording this. Darren, you ready to do the formula? Because you got to go to the class. Yeah, I'm ready. Okay, I told him you'll be there at 8.30. Okay. All right, so when it comes to the weekly spread, um, the first thing you want to do is find out the number of days that you're alive. Okay? Mm-hmm. And so the way we do that, the way we find that information out is that we go to I'm rodmartin.com okay and if anybody got a calculator on hand or they're using their phones or anything i'm going to give you an example of something like that can you so, pull it up now guys are y'all able to pull it up and and i don't know how to share my screen um okay let me pull it up let me pull okay. it up it is um I is I I am right? No, it's I'm I am. Rod R O D right? Yes, Martin. Dot com. Okay. So this is where we go. This is not, is it? Nope. Yeah, calculate your days. Okay, he must have changed his he website. Changed it up. I was like, wow. Me one, I'm not okay. signing. Okay, so you go to this is where you go, right? So, okay, so, what date we gonna use? We can use um, pick one of the students. Okay, yeah. somebody give me their birthday. Uh, April eighteenth. Okay, April the eighteenth. What year? Nineteen eighty-eight. April eighteenth. Nineteen eighty-eight. Okay. And submit. Where is it? Where did it come up at? Scroll down. Oh, that's not right. This is she only been alive for. Hi. Excuse me. Oh, you get. It's still say January um, diamond. It says January. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's the April. It went back. April 17th, right? 18th. 1988. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, I thought it saved it. Submit. Okay. So. She's been alive for 11,791 days. You did it with your calculations. Oh, there it came up. I see it. There you go. Yeah. See, guys? Right. Okay, so what you want to do with the number of days that you've been alive, you want to divide that by seven. I'm going to send you the formula, guys. I have it written down for you, so I'm going to send it to you. Just want to show you the steps, okay? Okay, so I'm going to go through this kind of quick, but she's going to send you the formula. Once you divide it by seven, then you're going to come up with a, um, a whole number and a decimal point and some numbers behind it. So what you want to do is you take that, for example, 11, I'm, give, I'm going to give it to you right now. Um, 11,791. Mm -hmm. Okay, so 11,791 divided by seven equals 1,684.4289. Okay. Mm -hmm. Dot something like that. So the number before the decimal, you want to subtract it from that. So you want to track the whole, subtract the whole number which is 1684, subtract the, um, the 42.857. So once you subtract the whole, once you, excuse me, once you subtract the whole number, um, you're going to wind up with a decimal, 
like zero point something something. And so when you get to, to that point, um, you want to divide that by 45. Hold on. Going back to the calculator. Not divide it. Yeah, divide it by 45. Divide by 45. And you're going to come up with another decimal. Which is going to come up as 0095. I know you can't see what I'm doing. Then you're going to time that. Hold on. 11791 divided by 7. Subtract 1684. Oh, come on. Equals times 45. And then once you once you, once you uh di once you subtract a whole number and you um, have just a point decimal and some numbers behind it, you're gonna do times 45. And so times 45 is gonna give you 19.2. So essentially the young lady that gave us her birthday is April 18th, she's on age 19 spread. And that's significant because not only can you see what's going on in your life today, this year, but it can also make you reflect upon age 19. Okay, so we took the original, okay, so we found the number of days, we divided that by seven. Yes. Then we took that number and divided that by 45. No, back, no, no. So when you, when, once you get, once you divide the number by seven, you're going to have a whole number that's in front of the decimal. Right. And see, I was born today. So, um, my happy number, birthday. Uh, uh, well, not, not today's not my birthday, but I was born on a Thursday. So okay. my number was a whole number. When I divided by seven, my number came out to 3,021. Because I was born on a Thursday. Okay. And so then I took that 3,021 and I thought you said divide by 45. I might have that incorrect. So what, what, what was I supposed to divide by after I divided by seven? Hello? Darren? I think we lost Darren. Okay. okay. What is that website? I am... I am rodmartin.com. But you said you're going to email the formula, right? Yes, I'm going to email the formula. So okay. everybody understand the formula? I didn't get it all, but I, I mean, once you send it, I can do it. Yeah. Hey, I'm going to send the formula to you um, with everything in it so you can know. So the benefit of this is once you get it, then you would you can it say you get a um, plate 19. Then you just know next week is plate 20. Right. So you just follow that. Right. So this is how you can look at your weekly spread. Thank you. Everybody got that? Mm hmm. If you don't, just say something. Speak. Yes. Now. Um, well, once I get the formula, I'll have it. We didn't give you the formula in the other class, Glenda? No. I'll try. Okay. Anybody else have a question? You have questions? Yeah. Um, run back the formula, like the last part, once you come up with the number. Once you come up with the number and you subtract from the decimal, you subtract from the decimal. Let me see what the... What you subtract, you subtract, you subtract from the decimal, the whole, and then you multiply by 45. You got that? And then what you look on your life spread and see the age. What's the, meant, what's the, what's the, the number that you get is going to be the plate you're going to look on. Say if you're left with 29, that's the, the plate. That's the plate that you're on that week. Okay, age 29. Right. Okay, so I, I look at um, age 19 for this week for me. And then, uh -huh. Uh -huh. Um, so I'll just look at that whole entire spread, or once I look at that. Um, yeah, you're looking at, yeah, you're looking at um, 
you're looking at the spread. Yes, you're looking at the spread. That same way we just did the United States spread. That's okay. what you look at for your um spread. Okay. That's the exact spread that you're looking at for that week. So you can look at your weekly cards. Got right? it. So, um, you are, so you are going to, um, when you get down to the bottom, that's the last, that's the, um, that's the, la the number that you end up with. If it's number 12, that's the plate you're on. It's not your age. This is the weekly plate. Like we have our age that we're on, but this is the weekly plate that you're on for the year. Does that make sense to everybody? No. So, how do you, so what plate do you look at? You look at whatever the, see the decimal is going to come up. The last number that you get when you when you multiply is going to be the number that you're going to be that's going to tell you what plate you're on say it comes up whatever it comes up if it comes up to 13 that means you're on plate number 13. but where's right. that plate number at on the front of your, I'm, sorry, I'm sorry the age spread we call them plates i'm sorry age spread or plate i'm sorry the age spread where it says on the let me show you where it says on here where um take it down let me see. yeah i got cut off can you hear me yeah we can hear you yeah yeah i had to plug up my laptop i'm sorry so the age spread um on the grand solar squares i lost the grand solar squares but the age spread on the bottom of the squares that you have where it says age say you're 35 or age 52 you understand what that says that on the bottom Yeah, that's where you. That's what you're going to look at. Where it says age spread on the bottom of the plate. So you're going to see age spread eighteen. That's if it, that's the plate you're going to be looking at. Plate number eighteen. Okay. Let me see if I can get my plate back up. Where was my plate? Oh, my mail. My mail. And then a quick question. When you're on a plate, kind of the same, about the same way we started for the United States, like mm -hmm. I could start at my birth card, which is the three of um, diamonds, mm -hmm. and then look at the, the periods of everything, like where the planets are the card sits for each planet and so forth. Mm -hmm. See here, this is age okay. spread one. So this is what you're going to look at. Whatever the number is that comes up, you're going to look here for the age. So it would be whichever age here, because you're going to be here. This is like if you're 181, which none of us is, or 91, but this is age spread one. So this is where you will be looking. Everybody okay. see it? I don't see it. I just see the day. Oh yeah, that one is not. It's not showing on your screen. It's not showing. Let me see if I can. Sh it should be sharing. I'm sorry. I thought it shared it. I'm sorry. Let me get it up there. Here we go. See right here? This is where you're going to go to A spread two. Got it? We can't see it yet. It didn't come up? I see no. it. Oh, there it is. is. There it is. I can see it. I, I was seeing it. Thank you, Darren, for making me mess up. Uh-uh. <laughs> see? Uh, I'm not, you see that Jack of Hearts energy, y'all? <laughs> see, it's A spread 10, see? So it's going to be A spread whichever here. You're going to be, say, you are whatever age you are, it always, it, it um, progresses. It's 11 like that. Got it? Right. <laughs> Got it. So that's how it goes. And um, when we go to advance, if you guys, and moving forward, the next class would be 
um, on the grand solar squares, it would be intermediate to advanced, or else it would just be that you would sign up for um, the classes at the at um, Cardozo University. So, which whichever one you you decide you want to do, just let me know, right? Okay. I want to take this class over. I know. I feel like I don't get it completely. Well, you wouldn't take this class over. You would take the next one. I wouldn't want you to take this one over again because it would be, you know, and I don't have any problem um, just sitting with you and going, we can go over this. Um, um, I put a, a date together and we can sit you guys and go over it. I don't have any problem doing that, but I wouldn't want you to take it over again, but it's, it's going to take time. Trust me. I sat with these things for a long, long time. So it's not going to be overnight. You're going to now start, getting confidence and looking at them yourself and along with reading our workbook and um, just you have this isn't there's nothing out here that's why we're developing stuff because there's nothing out here that I could use to learn the grand solar squares right Darren that's correct so right. um, just be good to yourself be kind to yourself because this is definitely um, a labor of love that, you know, me and Darren are doing because we love the Grand Solar Square so much, but there, we learned it um, with partners. You have to have a partner. Yes. And can I give you just a few tips um, for the people who are in the class? The more, I, I feel like this, learn the cards, learn the keywords for the cards. The more that you learn the keywords, the more you'll be able to tell a story. But and then if you trust, don't overthink. Just trust. Like you trust me mistakes, and um, because it took me, I'm not gonna say you guys are younger. It might take you two years to learn this. It might take you a year, six months. But for me, I used to sit with this and just look at it, and um, and look at the uh, cards as individual pieces. These cards tell a story. The, the big the big the big operative word of 2020 is a narrative mm -hmm. so these cards tell a narrative mm -hmm. but it's just so the more keywords i i would say get you good for each card get three positive keywords and three um negative keywords or three high side words and three low side keywords and, and they're, you in the book, but they're in the book the book has good keywords in it. The, um, the, um, yeah, so you, you can start out with the base. Yeah, the learning, the grand solar spread. It's a very good um, book for you to um, to start with. Like I said, take your time with yourself because it took me sitting with these squares, and then I had Darren. It, you know, I started talking to. So you need a uh, you need a partner. You need somebody you need to partner with. Yeah. If you can find someone to partner with in this class where you can bounce off ideas with each other, that's going to quicken your intuition. Mm -hmm. Another thing to do um, as far as reading these spreads, I highly recommend and me and Diamond talked about it yesterday. Look at your own life before you start looking at other people's stuff and go backwards. For sure. Because when you go backwards, I, look, I'm going to tell you, for example, when I went backwards, I saw when my daughter was born. It's in the cards, you know, so once you, this is what's going to make it real for you when you start looking back. Don't look in the future yet because you're still students. And look at this. Look. Let me look at you at I'm going to go to 16 and um, you're, you're queen of clubs. Me? Yeah. Oh, no. Queen of diamonds. OK, so you're queen of diamonds. So at 16, you sat in Neptune Mercury. And you were living your best life. You were good at home at 15, right? Uh, she, was, she was feeling herself. Not <laughs> really, no. No? You weren't good at home at 16? I mean, my dad is Neptune, and I'm Mercury, so that was an interesting time. So that Okay, so that's a perfect example of what the astrological context means. Wow. Because Mer Mercury, Neptune, Neptune, Mercury can be a lot of mental confusion about that time in 16 too. Yeah, you but know what I mean? look at her cards. It, that was her. That was all you. Because look yeah. at her cards. 
Yeah, so it was about getting mastery over your values and stuff like that. You probably started becoming, you probably went from introvert to extrovert at 16. Yeah, but you had some solid stuff here. You had you had to let go with what you just said about your dad. You had to let go with some stuff. You were on Front Street for sure. Everybody was looking at you at 16. Everybody. You was a mess in the home. So you had to let go of some stuff because you had a four of spades. You were you were living your best life. My and mom is a four of spades. Yeah, your mom's a four of spades, but she was taking care of you. And you had to let go. You had to, you were being challenged. Definitely. So, yeah, you're and look at you. You had a five of spades. You wanted to run. You just wanted to run away from everybody. You had a five of hearts in the sun, so you were very anxious. And, you know, you had some things going on and um, you may have had some difficulties in school that you overcame, you mm -hmm. know, but you you were on Front Street at 16 in that house. Look at you. Look at look at her Jupiter Jupiter position. She had two fives. Yeah. So well, well, nobody's trying to tell you what to do. Yeah. You feel like, <laughs> She's you feel in like denial. You. She's in denial. She, if I, I was definitely parents, not in denial. If I, I talk to her parents body. right now, her parents would tell this whole story that I'm looking at. What? I was totally a homebody, but no, I was I didn't not say you well wasn't a homebody, school. but you were exactly. I said that's if you were a homebody. The four hearts is your supporting karma. That's what I said. You were living your best life in the home, but you had some challenges. Because there were some things that you had to let go of. You were being challenged. Everything was going to be okay. But your thought process was moving was moving very slow. And you were talking a lot. Mm. Right? Were you working at 16? Um, yeah, I think I just started working at 16. But I was trying to be an exchange student. And they denied me because... They said I was too close to my mom, so I had to wait. They and saw I that. Leave. I they saw that. Look at that. Until I was 18. Yeah, look at that. Your mom is sitting right here. <laughs> they don't even know the cards, and they knew that. Look at your mom. I can't and look see. Your, huh? mm -hmm. ah, well, of course, space is your mom. But yeah, this is telling you, anybody that wants to, who wants to look at a plate so they, damn, you got to go to the other class, sign on. Okay. Uh, I've been in a few. Okay, so it's still it's still in new. Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. Anybody else want to look at their at a year and unpack what happened to them in a, a specific year in their life? Yeah, I year twenty eight. I do. Uh, <laughs> can I make a, can I make a comment about like when you're looking? Uh huh. Kind of like her. Her question was like trying to really understand what is being like taught yeah. because it was like trying to do it again so I do understand what you're saying like you don't need to do it again but I will really have to say that <laughs> if you don't have the book um, the okay so your... we will set up I will set up another class then okay well, but not I was... to do it again well, I was I was going to say if you really look in or if you don't have the book, the cards um, of your destiny, then like you should get that book because it ties in everything that y'all are saying and it okay. gives you the step by step, let alone in the back of the book. You just need a photocopy, like the worksheet and like how you're saying, oh, oh her mom's right, card is here. Right, it right. connects it all together for you and yeah. it makes it easier to understand. Like I'm still yeah, learning, but the Jessie, things you're saying right? make sense now. Yeah, she's oh, I have the book. I yeah, have, who is that? Can you see that? This is what she's talking about. Yeah. So can we work together? Work can we try to decode some things together? That's that Gemini, ain't it? Uh, my rising is Gemini, yes. but I'm an Aries. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> but if you but if you if you read the book of how he says do do this step first, do that step. Don't jump ahead. I know you want to jump ahead. He like literally says it. If you do part of the worksheet first, then you understand yeah. what she was saying and you understand his class a bit more better. Like once I got the book and started reading, I was like, I get it now. Thank now you, the sweetie. other thank you for that. The other books are very supporting of what you're of what the class is. 
basis, but that that book right there is the basis. Like I haven't even opened the love card book because I'm like, I don't understand the basis first. And that book is going to give you the basis first, like photocopy the worksheet, do the steps of what he says until you get to the point that it, it, he's like, you're on your own. It, I'm like almost at that part, but it's just like, you, Thank you. Yeah. do yeah. that part. It's the right. homework. This right. makes that sense. Was what my first book, so she's what that's page? my first book. So that's yeah, my first book. Oh, what page? Okay, so, uh, so yeah. who's twenty? Who's twenty eight? Because we're running, we're running late now. Who's twenty eight? Who wanted to know what card is you at twenty eight? I'm Janelle. I'm Janelle. What's I'm your card? Um, twenty. Um, I'm. I'll be forty. No, what's the card? Oh, I'm a. a Eight of clubs, sorry. You want to see 28, plate 28. What plate do you want to look at? 28. Okay, so we're on 28 and you're eight of clubs. You're right here, right? So at 28, you had the seven. Wait, of where is it? Oh, okay, okay. I'm in the same spot. Eight spread, you never move, sweetie. Okay, okay, okay. You never move. You're always going to be sitting in Mars Neptune. Always. That's your superpower. You you you're never gonna move. So at 28, you were that you had the seven of hearts sitting in the sun position. So at 28, you were learning boundaries. 28, you were learning boundaries, you were learning to let people be who they were gonna be. You know, you were letting go of preconceived ideas about people at 28, right? And your challenging karma card was a spade, and that was a, that was that was that's a card of manifestation. So you were being told to manifest at twenty eight, right? And it was about your um, values. You want you were being told that you needed to manifest things to unlock this card. Yeah, I was I was manifesting like crazy. Yeah. <laughs> well, I always do when I know exactly what it is I want. I I get it. Right. And then you had the seven of spades, Jupiter, Jupiter. And this is a card that year you had you had so much protection, so much. Um, you had so much going on with your ancestors and you could have unlocked so much spiritual money this year. The challenge in common cards, the queen of clubs, and it was all about your intuition. But the three of hearts is the card that was supporting it. So, but you were restless. Right. Yeah, you, you had. I was, I was, I was going through a transformation, mm -hmm. coming out of a relationship, like mm -hmm. right now, and I was, I was restless. I, I was, I didn't want to be alone. I, I was, I would get off work as a bartender and go to another bar. Like, yeah, you just had to, nine of spades. You had nine of spades in Mars. That was the end of a relationship. It opened the door for you. It, it and and it put you in a better place. It opened the door. It was opening doors. You, if you ended that relationship, you were moving on to living your best life. But you mm -hmm. wanted to talk about it. The six of clubs is um, was your Mercury card. You wanted to talk about it. Yeah, you know. And I got right into another relationship, like not too long after that. So. Mm -hmm. I, and my money went from like okay to it just skyrocketed. Yeah, three of hearts. You definitely was the three of hearts is one or two um um relationships. You know, the Jack of Clubs is definitely um ten of hearts. Yeah, you were on front street, very, very charismatic, but it was some past stuff that you had to deal with with the six of hearts. And um, yeah, you were making money. You were making good money because the ace of diamonds was challenging the five of diamonds, but you want you didn't want to be where you were at. Mm -mm. I didn't. You didn't want to be there. You wanted to leave. Does everybody understand how we look at these plates? Yes, it is. I have a, I have something to add to what you just uh, what you told her about her card. Mm -hmm. I have an Ada Club's baby father. Mm -hmm. and so he had a divorce before he met me at 28. Mm -hmm. And then he met me after I had a baby. So mm -hmm. that's so important. So important. 
Yeah, the Eight of Clubs does not move. They stay in the same place for life. They are very, the Eight of Clubs is Superman. The Eight of Clubs takes off their uniform and puts on another one. So you think, you think that you know them, but you don't. They take off their mask and then they, their superpowers are, come out. Then they put the mask back on and they go back to themselves. Oh my God, that is so me. Like when I'm at work, I'm I am bubbly. I'm all over the place. But when I get home, I am quiet. I'm chill. Yep. yep. That's your, your clock can't and Superman. You go into the phone booth when you get and then you, you put your your coat, your your suit, you take your suit off, and then when you go home, you put that's that's the Superman um archetype. A superwoman, superwoman archetype. It is so true. And when I'm home, I'm like, don't ask me to fix your drink. I don't know. I don't remember anything. And that is not <laughs> even trying to be funny. Like, mm -hmm. I'm, I, I'm really like, I don't know. Like, don't ask me. Is is how they say Beyonce get on stage and be another person? That's me. Yeah. And when she come down, I'm sure she is completely different because I'm even like, I don't even remember. Well, that's, what happened? Funny that's funny that you say that because Beyonce is a seven of diamonds and she doesn't have a karma card. She's a semi-fixed card. Mm. Excuse me. Yeah. Hey. Uh-huh. So click on, um, click on that you want to, you have to click on something to start something. Go up to the top and click on join conference or something. Of course, you started the class. Now you just got to enter it. Yes. All right. <laughs> Bye. So Beyonce is a seven of diamonds. And as you see she, that you are... Um, uh, you and Beyonce are always connected because she's a semi-fixed card. So that makes sense. But she's a semi-fixed card that she doesn't have any karma cards. So when she is on the stage, she's a seven of diamonds. Or she's probably a nine of hearts and 32. But when she steps off the stage, she's a seven of diamonds. So yes, you are right about her. She has two distinct personalities because one year, she sits in Venus, Venus, but the next year she sits in Saturn, Saturn. So, excuse me, nobody gets to know Beyonce. See, but and I, I, mm -hmm, I, always sorry, said that. I always said something was wrong with me because I can literally, I done been in weddings when I was younger, and I'm like, <laughs> girl, I don't remember being there. Right. Like right. literally don't remember being like she was showing me pictures. I'm like, oh, okay. And I, I was like, do I need to go to a doctor? Like, it is the craziest thing. I, I can host parties and talk to everybody in the room and half of those people be like, girl, you don't remember? And talking to me, I'm like, no. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, It's like I'm unconsciously moving around. Oh, yeah. You put on your mask. Mm -hmm. That's insane. Yeah. Wow. Exactly. Your cars don't lie, sweetie. They give you so much... Um, to help you unpack things. Things make sense. You know, just like if we look at you saying 28, but if we look at 29, this is 29 is the um is your Saturn return for everyone. So Saturn return 29 is a very powerful year. It depending on where you're sitting at. 29 has an ace of spades in the sun. This is transformation on high. At 29, you're supposed to be transforming. And the nine of spades is telling you, you have to let go of everything that happened from one to 29. You're transforming. You are learning how to um, manifest what you want going forward. The eight of hearts is sitting in Jupiter. Jupiter, that's a card of charisma. That's a very um, charismatic card. It's about overcoming all the emotional problems. So from one to 29, you're overcoming all of the stuff that happened in your life and you're releasing it. That's what the Saturn return is. Saturn means that everything that happened to you has crystallized. You got the lesson if you did the work. And at 29, you leave it. 
period. So when you turn 30, when we go over here, we look in, when we go over to 30, it's a whole new day. It's a two of clubs sitting up here. You have um, the seven of hearts is sitting. Um, this is about boundaries. This is about accept, accepting, especially if, of yourself, first of all. Two of clubs is the challenging karma card is the ace of spades. So this is a higher octave at 30. You're being initiated to a higher octave. It's two, it's relationships, it's conversations. The six of spades is telling you, you are fated to be in a better place. It's going to take time, but you are going to be in a better place if you um, know how to unlock your commas. Does that make sense, guys? Yes. Yeah. So this has been good. And like I said, um, you definitely sit with it for a, a week or so and then let me know how you feel. And look at the book, like she said, because this is something that you're going to be doing for the rest of your life. This is not something I try to give you the fundamentals because the fundamentals are what you're going to build on. Can I ask you a question? Yes, ma'am. Um, for for the young lady um, that wanted to take the class over, most of these um, classes are going to be recorded, right? Um, the classes, the, some of the classes, yeah, they're recorded. One did not go through, so I think three are three should be recorded. So I have to upload those classes, and I'll upload them so you can listen to them again. Okay. Thank you for that, but I need interaction. Yeah. yeah uh, okay. I okay. <laughs> Thank well, you. I, yeah, I know. Me too. I get it. I get it. I get it. I don't. I don't go back and listen to the classes that Aquarius does either. I would like to, but I, I just I do need interaction too. But we'll you know, we'll work it out. You know, we 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 have the next the next. I'm gonna stop um, recording this. We'll have the next. Um,